The baby is actually my good friend, my bestie actually, Kuzel, her sister's baby. It was beautiful, it was mad long, <laughs> but it was really, really nice. Say hi. That's my goddaughter, Dale, with her mom and dad behind me. So yeah, we're just waiting to eat lunch now, and yeah, it's a beautiful time. The mom of the baby is in yellow over there. Alright guys, so it's later on in the day. It's a quarter past five. I've been in church since 10 30 a.m. That's new for me because the longest I've been in church is probably three hours, you know. But it was really, really nice. They had like a Bible study, then um, the actual service, no, and then the dedication of the baby, and then the actual service. Then we had lunch, and for a good while, the kids play, talk, you know, free up yourself. Um, and then after that they had something like they had you know songs of course and then they was having like a bible study or something like that again when Anna and I left so it was really good so we back home now I'm not too sure what we're gonna get into just probably relaxing I was saying you know what I'll probably not go to church tomorrow because I had enough church today I know it's so bad but I have to go because um there's a pastor in my church the temple of restoration he was preaching i think it was a tuesday night or something like that about a few weeks ago and he dropped dead for 45 minutes you guys 45 minutes he was gone god was not done with him bring him right back and he's gonna share his testimony tomorrow so i have to go i have to go and hear his testimony Lord, my, my pause is raised anytime I think about it, anytime I talk about it. So, um, I don't know what we're getting into for the rest. I think I'll put Anna in early because I know she's tired. She did not nap today. And um, I'll either catch up with you guys later or tomorrow. Let me show you guys my outfit. I had on my black ankle boots, this gray dress. I did gray on gray with a pop of color. With um, this cardigan. I've had it for a while. I've had this for a while. Um, I don't think I ever... Is here this one asking for veggie chips i don't think i ever wore this stocking so that was quite new let me see if i could angle it nice enough for you guys to see it in the mirror i kind of way i don't know how it's showing up if you're getting a good look but yeah this is pretty much what the outfit was like and when my hair in a little top knot with extension here of course and yeah, that's pretty much it. I will talk to you guys very soon. Hey Jay, it's Sunday. Okay. We're heading to church. <sighs> I'll try to get the pastor's testimony on camera. If they see no recording, then I don't know. I'll try to get just his voice. <laughs> 
I don't know, but I think that will be interesting for you guys to hear, you know? So just waiting for Michael to pull out the car so he can drop us to the church, the new church. This will be Anna's first time. No, she'd been to the church already, but she probably wouldn't remember. So you could say technically it'll be her first time since the church opened, you know, for good. So yeah, it's supposed to be 56 today. That's warm compared to, you know, the the usual high and I'm gonna take a couple shots of my little look here I haven't worn this coat in forever I don't even think I wear this coat last year um, anyway I have a love hate relationship with it I will pick up with you guys later you wanna say hi say hi hi I'm going, let me see say hi hello <laughs> later guys Alright, so church is about to start, so I'm bringing Anna down to daycare. Go, Mama. And this is downstairs in the basement. Beautiful. I think this is the overflow area. This way. Jesus loves you. I think in Anna's daycare have heat. It's so cold in this church, you guys. Let's see if they're ready for her in here. I wonder if they have to take off their shoes. That's the daycare. You have to take your shoes off. Come, step inside. You ready to go in? that's what God revealed to me in my situation that I had my experience uh, eight to nine weeks ago that the heart is very important for us to protect because we can have so much wisdom we can have so much faith we can have so many talents and knowledge but if our heart ain't right all of that is worth it. Yeah. Well, what happened was that Wednesday night that uh, Miss Liz asked me to do the service. I had prepared a word and I was going to preach uh, the armor of God uh, because it's very important for us to be covered with the armor of God uh -huh. because we are always under attack. Uh -huh. But God is good and we have angels around us. And that's what I'm going to talk about this morning. Is that when this happened to me and I collapsed and I had no idea what was going on, but there were many members who know what happened. And they so told me, do you, what do you remember? What I remember was, uh, I don't remember falling, but I do remember opening up my eyes in the hospital. And I remember being in a room and with so many uh, equipment around me, so many bottles hanging, and I wasn't understanding what was going on. And I was just there and I could see and myself. that was how many days after you had collapsed? I don't know how many days that was. It was about one week after we collapsed. So for one week, he was in a coma. Mm. Claudia, so you want to say a, a, a little? Yes. Huh, go ahead. So that night um, when I got the call um, when the ambulance was at church. So you had spoken to him before? That. I actually had spoken to him, Bishop, maybe a couple of hours before the service was going to start. He was sharing with me the word that he was going to share with the people and he was really excited. And he was fine. There was no concern. He was feeling great. And everything was well with him health wise. He everything, had done his physical. He had just done his physical uh, back in March, and all the blood work, everything was perfect. Mm. There was no no need concern, concern none. nothing. So nobody saw nothing coming. Nothing. You see, you never know. That is why we must they always, you know, because sometimes if you have something going wrong with you, you can say, well, maybe because of this. Uh -huh. But, you know, when everything is well, the doctor says to you, healthy, you don't have no problem, you're not on no medication, you're strong, you, and suddenly, so what happened? So, what happened with with my husband was um, how the, doc the doctors actually still can't 
pinpoint how this all occurred. They, they do attribute it to an arrhythmia. He had basically when your heart skips a beat, his heart skipped the beat during that service and it just never restarted. And they tried different drugs to get it to start and didn't start it. They tried to the defibrillator that didn't start it. He was dead for 90 minutes. I know you said 45, but it was actually 90 minutes. The doctor minutes. says 90 minutes. 90 minutes. He was dead. Wow. Hey Jay, so we've been back home for a little while now. Thankfully, I was able to get a little piece of the testimony on video. I hope it was inspiring to you guys as it was for me. I'm going to end the vlog here. I thought it would have more excitement this weekend, but it's just plain or regular, my life. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up if you want to see more vlogs. And I will see you all in my next video. Later, Jays.